Now let's talk about April. Now, April was a bit of a funny one. A bit of a busy one, actually. We got to see, we got to do a bit more traveling, like we used to, um, and didn't confine ourselves to the, just the hunter. Quite nice to get away. Over the month, we traveled a total of 1,683 kilometers. Massive for our usual distance. Got to meet eight amazing individuals and got to celebrate their day with them. Couldn't ask for more. Couldn't ask for more of a month. But first up was Courtney and Joel down in Wollongong. It's currently 6.59, I believe. We're in Sydney, about to leave for Courtney and Joel's day down the gong. Just slowly packing up now. We're crashing at the old man's place. Made it a bit of an easier drive this morning rather than Eli, who's, who's leaving from Newcastle. Got a nice, nice little sunrise to watch while we pack and drive on down. So, um, just pulled up to Wollongong. Literally after that Engadine quick coffee break, turned back onto the road and we've just turned into stormy conditions, which will be very interesting today. When when rain comes, it's not always the best for a wedding. No one wants to sit out in the rain, especially when, like today, we've got it on a rooftop. So we're gonna see how that plays out. It forces us to get creative and, you know, we can work around the rain. So I reckon we're gonna get some good stuff today. I've just checked out the boys place. All looks pretty nice. Waiting for Eli to get here and then we're gonna go see the girls and see how they're traveling. But uh, yeah, stormy day in the gong. Eli just got here from Yo, Newcastle. Three hour drive. <laughs> <laughs> how was that drive? That was good, it was good. What time did you have to get up this morning? Uh, around five, five hours. <laughs> 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 pretty rough, eh? <laughs> so it's worth it. It's but nothing. you're here now in sunny Wollongong. And um, yeah. Beautiful day, yeah. So, I don't really know what you took away from that, mainly because I haven't edited it yet, but um, Courtney and Joel's day was pretty special. When I first met with Courtney, she told me that she wanted to do a ceremony on the rooftop. Whenever you get an inquiry that goes along those lines, you sort of go, oh shit, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be cool. We rocked up, it was big Eli's first trip away. Rydell, unfortunately, was a bit crook. So Eli stepped in and did his first big day of lead shooting, which was uh, really cool. He stepped up to the plate and he smashed it. We've now got a new lead shooter on our hands. Usually when you go into a city, you don't know what different elements are gonna be thrown your way with a city, you know, you got random bystanders, little nooks and crannies throughout the throughout the city. Wollongong, really, really cool place to shoot. We went down to the botanical gardens. You never know what you're gonna get with the botanical gardens either. You know, you might get, um, things might be dying or you never know. Yeah, actually came out really cool. We went to this little place with all the succulents. I don't know what you call it. We had quite a, um, quite a selection on our hands. It sort of looked really like it wasn't Wollongong. It looked like we're in the middle of the desert somewhere. It was crazy. It was actually the first wedding of 2023. That was sort of destination. Destination weddings are always cool because I love Newcastle and I wouldn't ever, ever leave. Sometimes you just got to change it up a little bit. You go somewhere else and you just don't know what you're going to get. Like I've driven through Wollongong numerous times, right, to get to other jobs, go away and everything else. I didn't really understand what the city was and it's it's quite like a little Newcastle. It's quite cool. And that was sort of all the first week. Considering what the next week had in store for us, um, definitely needed an easier start to the week. So, the second week. Now, the second week was a little bit busier than the first. Saw us go back to back to back. Um, yeah, so we just kicked it off on Tuesday. So Easter long weekend was Monday. We just blazed around, didn't do much. Fast forward to Tuesday was my partner's birthday, which um, took her out for a nice meal, had a laugh, had a giggle, ate bucket loads of sushi. Then fast forward to Wednesday, Wednesday was a little, uh, little admin day in the office here. Just edited, looks actually, whoa, looks really <laughs> messy at the moment. Yeah, got everyone's stuff lying around. Wednesday we got in, all the, all the catch ups, all the emails, everything else that comes with running a business, so fun. Imported everything, charged everything, and then Thursday we got to catch up with 
our friends at Oceanway called us up to come shoot Katie and Ben's day. We got a call from Bryce and Ty was away in Mexico living it up um, and they needed someone to come in and shoot photos so what I find with second shooting other people's other companies things like there's a lot of photographers that have the mindset where they don't want to do it rightly so you're sort of lending a competitor your work it's, it's quite hard to justify that in their heads so I like to think of if I can help out a mate I will I think it I think it gives us an opportunity to work a little bit and be a bit more creative with your shots. When it's not your wedding, you sort of have a little bit more time to think. You're not trying to meet with vendors or catch up with the brides or talk to the bride's mum about perhaps coming back for another wedding, you know? It's a little bit more freeing because you get to sit back and go, oh, all right, let's try this shot. Let's see how it works. Um, which is exactly what we did. It was a, it was a really good day. We, we started off nice and early. They didn't do prep. So that was awesome. Just had to rock up and do a first look. Always emotional. It looked like it was gonna rain for a bit, but it literally rolled through. Those rainy days where it's a little bit rainy, or it's a little bit wet and a little bit miserable at some points. Um, usually, if that's earlier on in the day, it leads into an, quite a nice sunset, which is what we always want and exactly what we got with, uh, with Katie and Ben. Finish that day, nice and nice and easy, nice and easy day. Good hanging out with Bryce. Drive home, quick sleep, quick bite to eat for dinner, pass out, wake up the next day, back out in the Hunter Valley again. Talking about, does he ever have a boring bridal party? Yeah, yeah. do you have a boring one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a letdown. Yeah. We like Ooh. a fun time. We like That's why we <laughs> liked you guys, because you're young. Some Give time. me a good old pulled pork slider. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought Are you, you getting paid too? overtime? I fucking hope so. Can you make a bloopers video? Yeah, shuffle over just a little bit. Go in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> we can take it if we jump. Shotgun fries! Beep, beep! <laughs> And then the Saturday, we had we had another job with the Ocean Way boys. Um, this time it was on the video side. The couple had booked in an extra videographer, which I <laughs> I can help out with. As a photographer, I love doing the photo side of things, and with video, I'm slowly building up those skills if need it. Yeah, these these guys. A nice ceremony in King Edward Park. Something simple. wasn't wasn't anything crazy. Good to see Bryce again. And that was only a four hour day, thankfully. That morning actually of, we had to wake up at 5 a.m. to go shoot a video for a client of ours in our commercial business, 97 Group. So they had a gym, the gym was opening, so we had to go in and shoot a bit of content for their social. So pretty much it was like, <laughs> so we got back from the wet Lisa and Joel's on the Friday, which was, I think we got back in 11 o'clock. Got into the office, charged everything, back in bed by like 1 a.m up at five, shooting this gym, coming back, downloading stuff, picking up some more batteries, going out to this wedding on Saturday. Pretty rooted by the end of it, pretty pretty tired. My partner had a, a birthday party afterwards as well, so it was a crazy day. I slept in a lot on the Sunday. One of those sleeps that you just wake up and you're like, where am I, oh my God. Oh! The Notorious! <laughs> So, after that hectic second week, the back to back to back weddings and a party and another little shoot, got to slow down a little bit in week three. Or so I thought. It started off with editing, catching up on all the albums that we had missed, getting sneak peeks done, making sure socials are up today, all that fun stuff. Come Thursday, I got to go see some family. And while it's in here, you get the call from Stephen from Memento. And he, Pretty much said, hey man, like, um, got this gig. It's in Sydney, over at Long Reef. Can you help out? And I said, well, funnily enough, well, I'm here. I'm actually from the Northern Beaches. Got to help out and we got amongst it and shot George and May's day down at Long Reef. It was pretty beautiful. Nice little ceremony. They'd both known each other for a while. May had kids. George joined the family. It was a real sweet, sweet, intimate ceremony. And that sort of finished week three.
um, brings us up to last week. We just sort of did all the boring stuff. Last week was more of a admin day than anything else. An admin week, I should say. I got to catch up on editing, reached out to clients, and did a lot of stuff that our business needed needed doing. The downside of the job is to do all that, like do all the emails and the finance and everything else. So last week was a big week of just that. But what last week did bring, a few editing sessions, which are awesome. You can't be a photographer without loving the editing process. You have, to, you have to learn how to edit. It took me a while to get there. It took me a while to really enjoy it. But after, once you get your process up, you know, your, your playlist to listen to and, and your workflow, it all becomes awesome. And I'll put in a little slideshow of what we edited this month. was really that was really it for april bit of a busy one lots of shooting which is awesome that's our favorite thing to do you get to meet so many fantastic people and and have so much fun on the day you sometimes forget about the rest of the stuff and that is what it is but it's the best job in the world and i couldn't do anything else but yeah april 2023 one to remember one for the books i can't wait to see what may has in store like subscribe and share